Wait, what time is it? 7.56. Okay, I should make a video now. This video is going to be about the element Borium. And this is not really Borium. This is something that I'm using to represent Borium in this video. And this is going to be representation. It's Rhenium, which is the element that's most similar to Borium. So, the reason why they're similar is because of their similar valence electrons and stuff. Like they both follow the trends in the same way because they're in the same group on the periodic table. So that means they have the same number of electrons on the outermost shell. And some other shells too, but the difference is that borium is a metal that really, 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 really does not want to exist. Its half-life is about six one seconds. So any sample of it would literally just disintegrate because there's too much heat generated from the radioactive decay. And this heat generated is the reason why if you held a sample of plutonium in your hands, it would feel slightly warm because of the radioactivity, but borium would be unimaginably hot and would generate so much heat to literally vaporize itself. So that's why we can't study borium or create it in large quantities as of right now, now the technology we have, but maybe sometime in the future we could apply some applications to borium, like harvesting energy or something. But as of right now, it's really boring because it doesn't have any uses. And even Google AI thinks it's boring. That's a sign that you know that this element is the most boring element. Borium is also predicted to be very dense. And it's maybe about 35 times denser than water. Maybe 34 times. Which is about... I think 20% higher than the densest metal, osmium. And this element does not occur naturally because of its extreme instability and short half-life. This is why um, we can make it in laboratories, only in small atom-sized quantities. It's made from atoms of bismuth, which, our, which are um, accelerated at very high speeds and they're fused with atoms of chromium, 